Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So, I am doing everything in my power. This spell accept wrong? A C C E T T. For some reason, it looks wrong, but that's right. I'm trying to do everything in my power to avoid working on my project because fuck projects. Like, seriously, I mean, I'm gonna talk about it in daily duels going up today, so like in like half an hour, but. <sighs> so, uh, I, I'm just like, you know what? I don't want to do my project. Fuck it. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna fucking. I'm watching it right now. I'm watching uh, Binding of Isaac Rebirth because uh, you guys may not know this. I'm a huge fan of Binding of Isaac. I love that game. And they're probably wondering, like, if you're such a huge fan of it, how come it's not on your channel? Because I suck at it. <laughs> because I suck at it. That is why. <laughs> you know, if I was half decent at the game, I totally wouldn't mind. But I suck. I suck. Like, I can't dodge. I I just take hits to the face and. I'm just terrible, really. This hand is ass, because I didn't get any revival. If I would have just got a little bit of revival in my life, a little bit of Monica on the side, a little bit of Tia is all I need. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> but yeah, this hand is uh, some butts, and uh, depending on what he does, or how much background he sets, or whatever, I might be in some deep shit for this duel, so that's, uh, that's good. Yeah. You don't realize how much struggle the deck will be if you don't get any revival unless you don't get any revival, so. Alright. Oh, it's Fire Kings. Oh, well, this is gonna definitely suck. I did not get the, de the hand to be doing against Fire Kings, not even. Well, I'm top deck Mass Chameleon. It's not terrible. I mean, I'm glad that I'm now. I'm actually glad that I sent the Phantom of Chaos. So I was thinking, I was like, maybe, maybe you know, send low ear, but no, nah, Phantom of Chaos is totally fine. I'm because uh, I, I have access to my scrap dragon. Then I don't. I didn't ever put hot in here. Seems like I would put hot in here, but I, apparently I didn't. So yeah, you know who'd be great right now? Freaking Crimson Blader. We can just Crimson Blader run over the freaking Yaksha and then not, don't not hear shit from Yaksha. That'd be great. I would love that, or you can stop fucking playing with yourself over there. You know, I would love that, so. Freaking. Alright, I'm done. Yeah, I don't like Supply Squad. Uh, I, I, I think it's a card that should never been made, in my opinion. Just because it just rewards you for being bad. You know, it's kind of like, you know, oh, your monster got destroyed. One of the game mechanics in Yu-Gi-Oh. Alright, draw a card. Like, Hello? Like, where is the logic in that? I don't understand. I don't understand why you would even make that a thing, you know? You gonna make Castell and spin my Yvel deck? No, you're gonna go into Tiger King and get a Tenki. Okay. I thought you were gonna be smart. I thought you were gonna... Well... So you're not gonna get your Tenki effect. I'm so confused. Are you gonna get your tanky effect? You know you don't detach from your tanky effect, right? To get your grab your tanky, you don't detach for that. That's when you're XC summoned. Your detach effect is negate all effect of all face up monsters in the field that aren't beast warriors, but you probably don't know that. So you probably just like, oh well XC monsters they have to detach to get an effect, you know, they don't have any effect when they're summoned. Well, sometimes you just wanna sit down and just read all your EDL cards, you know. Sometimes it's just the right thing to do. Alright. So, you're gonna activate the tanky. You're not gonna activate the tanky? I'm kinda confused on what's going on here. Okay. No, I'll take 600. Yeah. Like, why is my math bad? Because math sucked today. <laughs> That's why my math is bad. Okay, I don't know why you. Why do you have to go to main phase 2 to activate the tanky? You could have just done an extra 100 damage, but... It's probably like, psh, 100 damage. What, what, what is 100 damage? Alright, well... The Oxy Queen's Light is fine. Kind of wish that now I dropped the... The level eater. Yeah, definitely. Because I could have just went... Summon Galaxy Wizard, increase to 8, level Eater, eat a level off, drop to 7, Galaxy Coons Light, all 10, Super Chocolate Fudge Cover, wipe the whole back row. 
but now, now I don't got shit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pass and hope that my opponent decides to kill my Ebel, because right now, I'm nothing. Alright, yes, I'm a Yaksha. No. Message in a bottle. Once again, I should have dropped lower here because I got 10, I got 4. So I need one more level, which I clearly didn't drop, so. That was my fault. I, I, I was too happy with the mass, I was too happy with the whole mass chameleon thing. Because I didn't even use mass chameleon for Phantom Chaos, that's the funny thing. Yeah. What? Why are you clicking on your bell? Effects are. Its effect is negated. Oh my god. You think I just, you know, you think I just name myself People Mastery because, you know, I don't know shit about you, Bell? Don't tell me what to fucking do, alright? You! Shut the fuck up when you're talking to me. <laughs> alright? Uh, so, the moral of this video right here, right now, is I should have dropped Level Eater, because if I dropped Level Eater, this duel would have been going much smoother. Go ahead. He's got full back row, he's got the monsters to fucking whoop my ass. I should probably stop taking it slow, because it's not going to do anything. You know, at this point... Yeah, you know, at this point, I might as well just freaking just ram my Ebel into one of his Fire Kings. But once again, he's just gonna go so plus because it's Fire Kings, of course. So it's not the best. All right, he's gonna grab Bottomless. That's fine. You can't even set it. Supply cards only once per turn. So if I, you know, simultaneously wipe all his monsters, then at least he only gets to get one draw. But you know, the Brong and the Yaksha and the Grunix, so. Actually, it might be great right now because he can't even play Grunix. Well, he can if he has it in his hand, but, you know, if he goes ahead and searches for Onslaught with Barong, he wouldn't be able to play it because his field is clearly full, so. Might want to take advantage of him with his uh, insight. Uh, there's actually a duel at my college where one time this guy was in Fire Kings, and he literally filled up his back row with shit, and then even when he got the Onslaught, he couldn't even play it. It was, like, really dumb. Like, it, immensely dumb. Oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna turn to attack. Attack. Okay. Do you have any response? I knew you would have the deep prison. Ah, uh, yeah, you got it. I was thinking, I was like, he probably has the deep prison, but, you know what, fuck it, I gotta push anyway. I can't, I can't really sit here and allow him to just keep plussing. Eh, I probably should have come. That's not, that's not the first time that I've literally sat on the Ebel until, you know, it was too bad just because I didn't want to take some light point damage. I really should have committed to the attack a long time ago, but that was, that was a losing duel anyway. Like, it was up on resources with Fire Kings, which is totally a terrible matchup. I got a shitty hand. So, I was probably going to lose anyway. Alright, Phantom of Chaos again. So, Phantom of Chaos and Foolish. Foolish again. And because, because, you know, you sort of wanted to use him last over again, and, uh, yeah, so, I'm going to normal summon, is that okay? So she flicks extra 300 damage, and she flicks damage to us, hmm, yeah. alright, it's not too terrible, she's a tuner, she's like one of the very few, uh, level 4 tuners in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, so it's interesting to see her. Alright, well, definitely, since he decided to give me all the setup, I'm definitely going to set up, so that's a given. But I'm foolish, and now I'm definitely going to drop the leader with the one that I should have dropped last duel. You know, especially since that was a D prison, you know, I could have wiped it, but it's cool. Alright, Dark Ruff, you served your purpose, so go ahead and commit to the attack. If you, if you eat up a back row, hey, you eat up a back row. Oh, no, you actually attack went through. That's fine. Why not? Alright, so, you take 100. Right? I can set the Oasis and pass to you. And phase MST? No. Alright. Oh, Oasis is ready to go. What the fuck is that? It filled. Select one spell card. It's a spell card. Pick up zero. Resistor. 
Okay. I don't like that. So you neg one just to save my card? I don't thought you had a little bit of rating here. I thought you were going to actually do something, but, you know, D-spell? Really? Really? D-spell. Not the biggest fan of that play that you just did there, sir. Alright. I mean, we're, we're already set up, but there is nothing wrong with, you know, sending other things to a graveyard to make sure I don't draw them. You know, especially given what I'm drawing right now. You know what the one thing that sucks about Oasis is that the monster is so in defense mode, so if I like attack and then mirror force, I can't go like, okay, chain, you know, like chain mirror force, okay, like, hey, Bell gets it, summon Terry, but this, I don't know, doesn't matter anyway, so. Alright, go ahead and overheal these two, so we can a feral, so then get his effect, detach, go ahead and give me mask command, I really need use... the project is so boring though, it's not, it's not like, it's not like a project where you're just like, all right, well, you know, I choose a topic and I'm going to teach them and I'm going to, you know, present it. No, it's a boring ass topic. I'm searching shit online about it and it's just boring ass shit. Like, it's boring. It's boring. My topic is boring and there's nothing I can do about it. And it really does suck because I would love to have my fucking topic just be, you know, the tits. But no, it's boring. Ugh. Ah, fuck it. There's really no point in me. My opponent just wants to just do this and buy more power to him. Sure. Uh, is there anything I want to do? Hmm. I can normally summon Mask Chameleon, Mask Chameleon summon back Yvel, and then leave it at that. And next turn, go. Okay, oh, fuck no, because Yvel would be level 10. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get Yvel the right level, so. Hmm. I got an idea. It might work. Might It might be crazy enough to work. And right now I'm sitting pretty okay, so we'll go ahead and do this play. And leave it like that for now. Then... During his end phase, I can activate Oasis, summon back another level 4, it doesn't matter. What do I have in here? Armageddon Knight, alright, so Armageddon Knight, send another. Uh, then, uh, yeah, seems fine. Especially since he's not even attempting to really hinder my plays with his back row, besides that, you know, Scarecrow or whatever. Facing you. Draw. It will almost summon you. Fact, go ahead and tribute yourself. Go ahead and get me a Galaxy Queen's Light. Then I activate Galaxy Queen's Light. Everybody, freaking 10. All 10. Yeah. I'm an XC, of course, and by XC, uh, Oasis stays, so. We're gonna go for Super, super Chocolatey Fudge Cover. And get it the fact. Wipe all your back row. And attack you for 5,000. That's game. So, unless you have you know, something in response to a summon or something like what? Yeah, something in response to a summon. No, your opponent can activate spell and trap cards in response to this effect. He can still activate like a fact mail if he's got it. Smoke it if you got it. If not, then. Alright. Just gonna, gonna you know, wipe, wipe the back row and. Go for game. So. Or you can just kind of sit here. Yeah, I'm about to say you can just sit here and look at me. One more duel. One more duel. One more duel. One more duel. We could end the video, but I kind of I'm feeling I'm feeling, you know, one more duel equates to me not having to do that project. No, so yay, not doing the project. Seriously, I swear to God, that fucking project. I don't want to do it. I don't. But I gotta do it. But I don't want to do it. Yeah. You know? It's definitely a conundrum that I am just totally not into, so. You know, I don't want to do the project, but you gotta do the project. But I don't want to do the project, but you have to do the project. You know? That's how I feel right now. Right, is that how you feel? Is that really how you feel? That's exactly how I feel. 60 card deck 
four extra deck. All right. Should be interesting what you're writing. Higher than mine, so, yeah. You look pro. I look at you. I mean, you're, you're Yugi, so. You're Pharaoh, so. Oh. That sucks. I was thinking about doing my other play. I should have did my other play. I was thinking about summoning Armageddon and I dropped Nibel, so the call the Haunted. Then he would, of course, have missed Teed, but I was like, you know what? Yeah. Six card Cyber Dragon Dad? Okay. Sure. You better not try to detach the summon a Cyber Dragon. You better not fucking do it. Use my track. Good 800. Yep. Totally should have did my first plan. Once again, I'm fucking up. I'm totally fucking up. What's on? Fine, I'll just drop you bell with the Armageddon Knight right now. No, I'm not. I'm gonna draw it, so. Ugh, come on. So I'm just fucking wow, and I'm gonna draw Ultimate Nightmare next turn too. Like, can this deck please stop punishing me? Like it's not it's not even a serious deck, like, come on. Oh, I need I need different levels right now. I do not have the levels. Six six, go ahead and go into Goyo. Okay. Yeah, if you got Cyber Dragon in your hand, then let's go. But if you don't, then we might actually be able to do something. Alright, once we turn it, as long as there's a bubble bubble, once we turn it into his turn, you can dash on Cyber Dragon from your hand or finger. Alright, okay, let's go for it. Alright. Okay. I can't believe I'm probably gonna lose this duel to not good because of my shitty hand and my shitty plays. <sighs> Hindsight's fucking twenty twenty. I should have just I should have did. It. I should have just summoned Armageddon Knight, set you set you bell, set the call. That's what I should have done. But now it's just like you know what? Nah, I'm gonna you know, stall out with the Krebins and do that and it's just yeah. I'm gonna get fucked up. You're 42, so I take 14. Yep, I'm getting fucked up because I don't got anything. That's great. So thank you for that. Oh my god! Hindsight's fucking 2020 up in this bitch! If I would have just sent. Oh my god, I'd be in such a better fucking position if I just would have done the fucking play that I should have fucking done! Ugh. <sighs> I mean, I have different levels. Yes, I do, but I'm not going to take all that damage. I'm going to take all that fucking damage anyway. Might actually be better just to summon them and take the 4,000 and fucking take that Cyber Dragon to the fucking chin again. Go ahead. I got an idea, but... Fucking just... Oh, mm, my God. Hindsight fucking 20 fucking 20. I'll take your 21. It's fine. Alright, I'm activate Lemon Reverse. So I'm back to the chaos. Says so that I have to exceed something, right? That's fine. I'm totally gonna exceed some, but I can't special summon any other thing except. So I target monster three different levels in your graveyard, special summon all three of them, tax on zero, so they're affecting the game. If you do not exceed them this turn, and with using those, well, no, just exceed something. Alright, and I can't summon except by exceed something, right? That's totally fine. I can activate Message in the Bottle. I can summon back Armageddon Knight, Krebins, and Goya Guardian. Armageddon Knight and Phantom of Chaos are the same level, therefore I can XE. And by XEing, I can get out of this fucking shitty ass situation. <sighs> Should I just make a Castell or. My dear. King of Feral. Yeah, I'm gonna go into King of Feral because at least King of Feral can grab me a freaking mass chameleon. Just there we go. I exceed, therefore I'm not taking all that damage, because if I would took that damage I would have lost, so not a terrible play there. Put this in my hand. I still have a normal summon. These two are zero attacks and defense. They don't pretty much they don't do shit. 
Well, except for the fact that these two can actually sync. But I can't do anything except for it because he's this turn. So, it's not too terrible. I can actually, hopefully, attack over you and then Spirit Reaper. Pick a card out of your hand. I think you can game me with a Cyber Dragon, so it's not too terrible. So, let's go ahead and roll the dice. Do you have a Cyber Dragon in your hand? No, you don't. Awesome. I was hoping that you didn't. Get this one. <sighs> Hindsight's fucking 20, fucking 20, but I might be able to do something. I'm going to attack you directly with Spirit Raper, and then my effect. I'm going to pick this one. Okay. Go ahead. I'm up on resources, but... Plays that I can really pull off are very limited. Especially if he summons another one of them Cyber Dragon boss monsters. Oh, there's a special summon to Cyber Dragon. Top deck that. I was hoping he wouldn't, but he did, so... That sucks. Oh, you gotta go. Sure. Alright, well... I don't know who he was gonna attack. Well, he's probably gonna probably attack the Spirit Reaper, so I was probably gonna take that. Alright, draw a card. Alright, what was I gonna do? Well... I said he's probably gonna attack those, so I'm probably just gonna go ahead and sink eight, because you know, the damage he probably didn't know about those two. So, when you scrap dragon, scrap effect, destroy this to destroy that. Uh, probably at this point, definitely turn Sperry for defense mode. Um, uh, of course, you get your effect. Um, how much life points would I have been? That would have been uh, 18, so I would have had uh, 1,900 left, so I'd only be able to still charge one monster back. Snuggles are real. I said, this this duel got, all, got me all kind of fucked up with that hindsight, swear to God. You know, like, you should have sent the freaking uh, level eater. This, though, you should have sent you Bell. Like, that's what you get for trying to be cute. That's what you get for trying to do something different, so, yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call episode. I got other videos to record, and apparently I got a project to do, so yeah. Alright, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow with um, Cosmic Email. Alright, thanks for watching.